cool. I think I think I'm in cake paradise. Mm, just have a look. A lot of cakes, 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 and only cakes are here in this grocery store. <sighs> Two killers and three killers cakes everywhere. Guys, I don't know what to think. Is this really the most wonderful and uh, the most attractive uh, grocery store here? I'm used to film a great deal of trout or uh, wonderful fish in the best grocery store. And here, what is this again? Dry beef? with a very, very strange, I would say, odd smell. And candies, 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 candies. Ooh. My mind is full of confusing details after this, after watching this food. I don't know how to say about that. Hello, my dear viewers. My name is Marina and um, just have a look. I have been traveling for two weeks already and I haven't uh, been watching news at all. Uh, I don't know what's going on in the world now because I spend great time in Caucasus Mountains with uh, wonderful people uh, and um, um, I'm ready to show you something um, interesting about people about uh, life of people living here and of course of course um, all my ways uh, go to grocery stores and supermarkets and I have found one great wonderful supermarket here um, it works 24 hours and let's see what's inside I was shocked really hmm? are you with me Guys, I want to lay emphasis, it's not city, it's not town, it's small, small village. And I see wonderful, wonderful, perfect supermarket here. Let's check out the prices. All local people living here in mountain region of Russia, Caucasus Mountain, uh, told me about this grocery store uh, with, uh, with uh, admiration. And I decided to see what's inside. Let's do it together. Guys, I didn't expect so many people here in this, in this supermarket here in the morning. Such a great deal of people. And um, I hope we can start with the um, uh, Vegas section. Yep. Yeah? Let's see. Wonderful tomatoes. Really wonderful. And, and smell. The smell is very nice 75 rubles you know that um, uh, dollar and euro is um, are very high now uh, and um, so one dollar is um, 95 rubles today today's rate of exchange so divide all prices by 95 what about grape i'm not sure it's local because we are high in the mountain now um, 280 rubles for one kilo oh what i see they have avocado here as well one one piece of avocado costs 110 rubles more than one dollar it's it's really expensive and what about teachers 140 rubles for rather good pictures And nectarines. I prefer nectarines. And you? Mm, 140 rubles. And uh, local apricots, 185. Not bad, not bad. Not so beautiful. Uh, cucumbers, only 6 rubles for 1 kilo. Uh, what's here? Again, nectarines. Uh, very good I would say and, and this this 
Ah, uh, guys, this is not peaches. It's corn, young corn, 30 rubles for one piece. <laughs> Have a look. New kind, new type of corn, maybe. I don't know where to go again because it's a new place for me. Um, and I'm shy a little bit because, because I don't want to disturb customers. What attracts my attention? First of all, wonderful cake section. You see, with, with big, big cakes, uh, I think it's maybe three kilos cakes, uh, different kinds, and uh, you see prices very low. 700 rubles and again 700 rubles and uh, uh, 850 rubles so how many kilos are here i wonder let's let's see i found out two kilos every cake is two kilos it's really very very big um, I know exactly it's tasty because uh, several days ago we bought um, two cakes for our big company and you see 700 rubles it's um, maybe eight and a half dollars for two kilos of fresh fresh baked cake and of course you can buy small cakes and um, and um, donuts and something uh, I know exactly it this roll is it's very 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 tasty 330 meringa roll and uh, these are local sweets um, 1550 rubles for one kilo but um, I I don't want to buy it it's uh, in open boxes and I know that you know exactly what's this. Churchella, um, local sweet from nuts and um, and um, grape juice. The price is maybe 60 rubles for one. This store is really big for a village, but I, as I remember rightly, this is the um, biggest one here in this region and all people uh, love to visit this store it's like a kind of amusement to come here with the family and buy buy something special and tasty for example uh, farms chicken you see it's uh, yellow uh, it means that this uh, hen this chicken ate corn during its life and uh, what about price so one kilo costs less than 200 rubles uh, it's um, a little bit more than two dollars for today's rate of exchange and uh, you know this region is Muslim region and we cannot find pork and pork sausage but they have a great variety of beef sausage you see all this is made from beef and chicken uh, local cheeses are also very interesting and uh, it differs from what we used to buy in Moscow or in another region. Um, for example, this smoked cheese, uh, it's, um, for me it's too salty, but people like it. Uh, so less than um, 100 rubles for one package, so uh, less than 400 rubles for one kilo. Uh, it's good when if you want to try something uh, special and local so you see and this bag cheese is not so salty I prefer this one of course you can find here some uh, popular cheese cheeses uh, by um, produced by popular um, cheese farmers but mostly here uh, you buy something like this you see Kabardinsky we are in Kabardino Balkarian region cheeses of Caucasus these cheeses are very good for health really it's made from fresh milk 
and um, I will show you local cows. They are so nice and so big. Guys, we are in a Muslim reg region now, and uh, here in grocery stores you cannot find alcohol and cigarettes and pork. And but people here um, love to eat cakes and sweets, and I will show you a great deal of very cheap candies, chocolate candies. Hmm? Just on the way to candies section. I found very interesting department. You see, five liters of sour cream, five liters in one big um, bucket, and a smaller, uh, two and a half kilo smaller bucket. Uh, I'm amazed, really. If I buy sour cream at home, so I buy 20 grams, not five kilos. <laughs> but people living here are fond of eating. Um, dairy products uh, every day and they love uh, they love this uh, it's a kind of yogurt but uh, its name is Iran um, that's why maybe they live more than 100 years and uh, it's a region of uh, people um, living long life you see of course you can find here a popular uh, popular brands for example Rastishka and uh, price is uh, the same as in Moscow and um, this is very popular again in Moscow but uh, when I travel here in this Caucasus mountains I also buy this local um, uh, dairy products dairy food because it's really very very nice and what is this I don't know oh can you imagine what I found? This is what? Flow. Oh, not flow, it's dough. <laughs> it's dough already from flow. <laughs> Have you already seen my videos from Chechen Republic? I showed you approximately the same. It's dry beef, dry beef. It's uh, one of the most popular food here. It's traditional and um, it's really very tasty, though it looks horrible for me. Uh, I don't see the price, uh, but I know exactly it's um, not so cheap. It's about maybe 800 rubles, not less. And here you can buy also uh, something um, um, not so ordinary. Yeah, it's. Um, Salty herring. I don't know what. <laughs> Whew, finally, I found the row without people. It's a canned food section. <laughs> oh, it's all, all you need. Um, and I want to remind you the price for one kilo of salt in Russia. 17 rubles. 17 rubles for one kilo. Who wants? Uh, Wonderful, uh, perfect, tasty salt. You're welcome. A lot of sauces and ketchups. Ketchups, ketchups again, again, again. And condensed milk. Uh, very tasty, taste of childhood for, uh, for some people, for me, for example. And different kinds of condensed milk. And again, canned food. Mm. Oh, frozen food. Let's see what's here, but I don't see prices. <sighs> I don't know where to find the prices at all. Okay, okay. But I know exactly that local watermelons here cost 25 rubles for one kilo. Mm, as for dollars, it's uh, about 40 cents, one kilo. Mm, of course, of course, I love to watch how people uh, choose this or that uh, product. And uh, this is the section of coffee. 
and I think tea. Hmm, and chips are very popular in, in this region. So of course, they don't drink alcohol, uh, but they love to eat something uh, junk food, <laughs> you know. Just have a look at big, big packs of uh, something not so healthy, but, but tasty. It's from potato, it's made from onion, and uh, really big, big, enormous packs for, for, for the whole family. Well, guys, people living here in Caucasus Mountains, I told you in my previous videos about Chechen Republic. So here is also people live in very, very big families. That's why the packs here are amazing. One kilo, two kilo, um, five kilos, or 16 packs of toilet paper or something, because they have uh, eight, sometimes nine, sometimes 10 kids in one family. And now, finally, the section with kilometers of waffles and and cakes and candies and biscuits everything is so attractive and you see the the smallest package here the smallest pack is uh, 650 grams <laughs> not less but uh, i think all this is very fresh of course it's junk food but they like it and they eat it here. Mmm, just have a look. Marshmallow or oh, what's this? I think so. And they live long life. I told you before. I mentioned that there are a great deal of people living more than um, 100 years. And they eat it all. Maybe... Uh, the secret is in fresh air or in, in wonderful uh, water from mountain springs. But just have a look, we don't have the same sections in Moscow, even in Moscow. And it's a small village. And a great deal of candies, candies, candies. And again, again, biscuits. It's a pity, but uh, I couldn't stand it and have a look at my shopping cart. I bought two cakes for a big company of friends for today. Because it's really, you, you cannot endure all this. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Mm. I think all this is really tasty and good. Not every day, for sure. Candies, candies, Whew. and and local, local, amazing sweets. It's maybe um, similar like in Turkey. Let's do it together. Let's open and see it. Oh yeah, it's Turkish Turkish pahlava, six hundred fifty rubles only for one kilo. But I think it's enough 50 grams um, of this uh, pahlava, but mm, truth be told, my mouth is watering. Yeah, the culture is uh, a little bit similar to Turkey here, and the language, I, I think, uh, is similar. In my sweet dreams, I couldn't even imagine such a great variety of candies. This is the third section of candies in this uh, supermarket. Uh, where is the food? I saw only um, dry meat and then chocolates, biscuits, candies, marshmallows. What do they eat? I don't know. Let me see. The sellers here, girls, uh, wear national, national Muslim uh, clothes. Not all people, of course, <laughs> not all women. 
but uh, let's check some candies uh, because uh, I'm really amazed by prices here. It's twice cheaper than in Moscow and have a look. I don't know what's this, but it looks good. <laughs> 500 rubles for one kilo, 400 rubles, 345. <sighs> I want to buy it all um, and I will do it. Just, um, it's gonna be a present uh, to my Moscow friends and uh, it's so, so pretty and, uh, and touching hearts, 600. 30 rubles. Divide by 95, you'll get price in dollars uh, because I, I don't have time to count and I'm not a good counter. Of course, I'm sure all this I can find in uh, Moscow because, uh, uh, for example, these truffles are produced in, in Moscow. Uh, you see a red October, Krasny October uh, confectionery. Uh, plant but uh, here is uh, the price is uh, very low 667 rubles in Moscow I buy it for 1000 rubles for one kilo it's really very 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 nice and uh, what's this again truffles uh, 580 rubles and uh, I think it's for a wedding party or something uh, 520 rubles so I think I have to uh, to stop it. Oh my dear viewers, these stones are not stones. This is wonderful, very tasty candies with chocolate inside. Do you remember M&M's? This is not M&M's, but uh, similar, something similar. I think I'll, I'll take one or two. Anyway, I need to find serious food, maybe eggs or sunflower oil, bread and something, because I see only candies and candies and biscuits and juice and, and Coca-Cola. But you asked me not to shoot a video of Coca-Cola anymore because you hate it, but I like it. But all I do, I do for you. That's why I don't, I don't film Coca-Cola today. Oh, hallelujah, now I know that the eggs exist here in this Kabardina Balkarian Republic and the price for 30 big homemade eggs is 204 rubles, 204 rubles, because I asked uh, about price, I don't see it here, but you may trust me. Good eggs, cheap eggs. Yes, and bread, not far from, um, from eggs department, I see. Mm, how can I explain you this, this smell? Oh, I want it all right now. Why all junk food is so attractive? Can somebody explain me? And this is also local food. I will touch it, but uh, only the pack. Uh, not bread for sure, but you, you may be sure it's very fresh because people here living here adore these kinds of uh, mm, bread. It's uh, traditional and they eat a lot of bread. And this bread looks like um, Soviet Union bread. Just you see, there are no plastic bags, uh, um, no covers, but uh, but it's good and it's attractive, but I, I don't see prices. I, I think I have to ask it. Uh, bubliki. Do you remember what's this? In Russian, it's bubliki. Special bread. Uh, you made it with, uh, with uh, sweet tea. And it's really very nice for a snack. And I hope it's very cheap, but I, I really don't see prices. Ah, here, here. Uh, yeah, I can find some prices. Samsa, 70 rubles. Um, wonderful uh, local pie with the meat, special pie from special dough. And this is what? Hachapuri with the cheese and cottage cheese, 70 rubles. Hachapuri is also um, um, a special baked uh, pie. Oh my God, have a look at this.
it's priceless, really priceless, but it looks nice. Mm. And bulechki buns, bulechka in Russian. What we loved in our childhood. My dear viewers, I think I, I will buy it right now. Just have a look. Mm, special equipment. It's very, very, very tasty. And its price is only 30 rubles. It's uh, 35 cents. But it's big and it's so, it's so nice. Mm. Oh my God. I, I was dreaming to find a lot of uh, sunflower oil and what I see a great deal of different kinds of olive oil in this far away village in Caucasus mountains. Just have a look, olive oils, olive oils, olive oils from different countries and uh, produced by, by different farmers. Uh, great. I feel like I'm really in civilized uh, big uh, city. And uh, what about what about sunflower oil? So uh, you know that sunflower oil is uh, a basement for cooking in Russia, and that's why we buy it not uh, just uh, one liter or one liter and a half. So we buy it five liters and 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 five liters again so and the prices are different starting with uh, 440 rubles till um, till maybe 550 rubles good prices for a big family you need big bottle of uh, sunflower oil and of course of course olive oil for salads I asked local people, where is meat, where is fish, where is food? And they told me that they have special meat stores. Uh, I hope to find some of meat stores to show you. Um, but uh, they can buy only beef and lamb and chicken there, not, not pork, of course. It's Muslim region, I told you before. Uh, and here, here you can buy only what i showed you some junk but tasty food and a lot of drinks and a little bit of um, fruit and vegetables and they are happy uh, while i was uh, shooting a video for you so new food new fruit uh, came to this section and let's have a look again a bell peppers rather good 200 rubles uh, for one kilo like in moscow a little bit cheaper and wonderful cherries and new cherry for 50 rubles for one kilo it's um it's half a dollar guys really half a dollar and plums the thing is really nice People live their lives and uh, they don't watch news on TV. Uh, life is really quiet here with a lot of kids in big families and in real happiness. <laughs> and here is a rather big section of uh, kids' food. You see? You can buy here everything you need, everything you want. Mm, prices are like in Moscow, I would say. But I'm not an expert in uh, kids' food. And what's here? Frozen food section. And again, again, uh, pelmeni, you know, traditional Russian food and uh, traditional Mediterranean food. <laughs> Shrimps, prawns and traditional American food. French fries, potato for French fries, and uh, buns for hamburgers and for hot dogs. And ice cream, ice cream, ice cream there. A lot of ice cream. 
if you want to feel the harmony of life, you have to be here in these Caucasus mountains, far away from any civilization. Just have a look and admire this enormous art of nature.